This week, Hairstyles Our Little Trouble presents a cute summer updo. everybody, welcome to Hairstyles Our Little Trouble. Uh, this week I thought I would take a break from doing all the hairstyles from movies and TV shows and all that stuff and do something a little different. Uh, it finally feels like summer here, where I am. I don't know where y'all are, if it's been summer for like the whole time, uh, but yeah. Uh, it's been very cold here. We had a very, very cold spring. Didn't feel like it was ever going to warm up, but it finally did, and it's very, very humid. So this hairstyle is going to be kind of like a summer beat the humidity hairstyle, okay? So we're going to do lots and lots of braids. All right, we're going to start off by separating out front section of hair, just like we've been doing pretty much every week. Okay, now with this back section, we're just going to pull it into a little ponytail. and then rope braid it. Now, of course, you don't have to rope braid this. This part, you can do this however you feel like doing it. But me, I'm going to rope braid it. And I'm actually going to do a different kind of rope braid. Let me pull this out of the way so I can see you guys a little better. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two rope braids, kind of give a different style. I saw this once done on another person's channel. What we're going to do is we're going to rope braid, and we're going to rope braid them both the same direction. This is important. We don't want them going different directions. And as I said, if you want to skip this part, you can. You can just do a regular bun. You can do a regular braid. I don't care. This is really not all that important to the hairstyle. I know I had a very hard time doing a rope braid for the longest time. Something about it never turned out right. Okay, nice and easy. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our rope braids and we're going to twist them a little bit and then wrap them around each other. So we have this, like, massive braid. Wait a minute, I'm wrapping the wrong way. Yeah, you wrap it the opposite way that you twisted it. As you can see, it didn't look right if you wrap it the same way that you twisted it. So now you have this really elaborate rope braid. And now you just bun it. Nice and simple. This is a very, very easy hairstyle. It will not take much to do. Nice, cute, simple hairstyle. do with this side. So we're going to do just a plain, simple English braid. Now as you're braiding it, you're going to want to pull away from your face and kind of in the direction that you're going to be going. Because otherwise what will happen is you'll have like a bubble on the top. And to some extent we're going to have that anyway, but we want to prevent it as much as we can. So pull it tight when you're starting it that doesn't happen. Okay. Braid it pretty much all the way to the end. Okay, and then on the other side, pull back.
All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to pull our hair back and we're going to crisscross the hairs, the braids, and just do a couple bobby pins in here that kind of crisscross with the, bla the braids. And now, take it up, braid up, loop it, and then the ball. Again. The other side, loop it, and now what you're going to do is you're going to pull this braid through the loop that you made on the other side. Right. And with the hair that's at the end of the braid, just pull down into the bun. secure. There. So there's our hairstyle. Nice, mm -hmm. simple, really easy, and perfect for beating the, the summer humidity. Yeah, I have a very hard time with humidity with my hair. And braiding it, you know, just keeps it out of my way. I don't even notice how disgusting it is with the humidity. So yeah, it works, works very nicely. That's our hairstyle for this week. Um, I, have, I don't remember if I've said it for a while, but I am taking any requests. If you all have a hairstyle you really want me to do, I am definitely open to it. But I do have a couple requirements. Give me the name of the character. Don't just give me like a name of a show or a movie. Give me the name of the character that you want. And if you can, give me a link to a video or a picture or both even. Actually, videos work a lot better than pictures for figuring out the hairstyles, but sometimes pictures are useful, too, because they're stationary and I can just stare at them. But, yeah, um, those are my only requirements for hair styling. So that way, because the reason why I want you to give me links is because I may not have seen the stuff that you are talking about. I'm into old movies and old TV shows, so I'm not really up on the new stuff. And so they're not, there's not a very good chance that I'll have seen whatever it is you're talking about. Yeah, well, that's all for this week. I hope you all have a great day, great week, and remember, getting the perfect hairstyle is little trouble.